Hi everyone, my name is Tom and I quit my job to be a full-time indie game developer. This was my first week, so I wanted to take a small portion of the devlog to tell about my experience, the plans and all of that. My goal is to finish New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon this year, so my plan is to have half a year to finish the game, to see if I like being full-time indie dev, uh, experiment with working for myself and not for someone and etc. So as someone who always was inside of some sort of structured programs like school, university or work, I need a schedule for myself. I cannot just be without one because then I'll be just lazy and there won't be any progress done on the game. So here's how I decided to break the day for myself. Obviously not all days are the same, but here's the general idea. Mornings for me are currently very slow, so I use that time for marketing and different research. So that would be uh, creating shorts, posting on social media and stuff like that for marketing. And for research, that would be watching different videos about game development, looking into influencers that I would reach out at some point to ask them cover the game and help with outreach and stuff like that. Also, I want to bring back my gym schedule. I personally like to go to the gym in the mornings because during the day there is no way I'm making myself going out there. And not having to report to a job at 9 in the morning really helps with that because I wake up usually around 7, 8, I would I wake up, go to the gym, come back, shower, nice breakfast and I can start working. That's in the morning. Then after lunch I want to be able to work off stream on the game. So doing all the boring stuff, the things that are not necessarily are interesting to show on stream and stream in the evenings. So far this week it looks like my stream schedule is from 5 30 p.m. until 11 11 30 depends how long i can go but yeah having this type of schedule for myself i think will help me keep being motivated to work on this and be in some sort of a structure and not just hey i'm doing something today at some point of time so yeah that that's just me so how was the first week of being jobless i really like it not having to like you know being from nine to five confined to to your work and not be able to work on my own things and having to ch shift my schedule around that. For example, if I wake up a bit late, I cannot longer go to the gym because I need to be at work at nine, right? There's no way I can make it. So now even if I wake up a bit later, around eight, for example, I can still go to the gym, have my breakfast and start my day. There's no one that I need to report to except myself, which is really nice. Is this freedom of choice and being and being able to build your own schedule, which is what I love. <laughs> and obviously I don't recommend anyone to just quit the job and go full indie because you're not going to make any money when you're indie game developer unless you get a publisher and, and whatnot. But in my case, during this period of time that I work on the game, there will barely be any money coming in. So I made sure that I have enough savings to support my journey, which is very important because, you know, I don't want to end up having to eat ramen or fuel for half a year. That's not my goal. I want to stay healthy, especially with me. I have diabetes. I need to uh, keep an eye on what I'm eating. So home cooked food is really the option for me, you know, staying healthy, vegetables, fruits, whatever. Um, So yeah, this was my quick spiel about being in the game dev. So yeah, let's just dive in into what changed in the past two weeks. I started off with making some changes to naming your shops and factories. First of all, I added the option to the factories, so now players can rename those. I added the logic that if you have several shops of the same type, instead of defaulting the name to just pizzeria or cheese factory, now it will increment the name so players can distinguish between them somehow. It's a small change, but it was suggested to me by the playtesters. I also continued updating the factory models. This time, I worked on the meat factory. I want to add a small animation to it, something simple, like making the cows bounce around 
and having a cow riding on the conveyor belt or something like that, something very simple, not too much. I also fixed a few bugs, encountered a bug in the multiplayer where the client's shop wouldn't serve customers. After some debugging, oh, I think I know what's the problem. I noticed that the server always assumes the client's shop doesn't have any ingredients to make food. This made sense because the logic that updates this variable available customers to serve is calculated locally and never shared with the server. There was another bug that caused the shops to sync every time they were sold. And eventually, after a few times, the shops were so deep inside the bridge that you could no longer interact with them. Originally, I had this line of code that would lower the bot shop a little bit because it was hovering. And that was a bad solution because it caused it to sync. So instead, I fixed the shop models by lowering them a bit and removed that line. And of course, more UI changes. In the distribution center, I updated these ingredient tiles so they don't look like buttons. And I updated the scheduler window because this was a bad design. First of all, this clock icon did not look like a button. Second, there is this principle in UX design that talks about the number of clicks to perform an action. The less, the better. Let's say I want to turn on the auto scheduling. With the new design, this needs more designing, but it's much better. I made more changes to the shop and factory windows. I moved these buttons away and added the recipe to the shop. So now players can see what and how much ingredients are required to produce the final food option. I still need to work on the result product part. Right now, there is no logic for that. I watched this video by Kenny where they talked about main menus and I immediately had some improvement ideas. So here's the old menu and here's the improved one. This is still temporary, but much better. And one more change, I finally updated the Steam art thanks to Holtz. A great artist, great result, I'm loving it. And I'm using it everywhere, as you can see. Also, please wishlist the game on Steam, that really helps. I'm gonna start doing more user playtesting to get even more feedback. Let me know if you're interested. If you want to see live devin of the game or want to chat, give your opinion and whatnot. I'm streaming on Twitch between 5.30 and 11 uh, EST. And yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.